Hello, citizens of the Spider-Man Nation of Bohemia. Welcome to the Frontiers of Playing Open Status 4. This is our The Bohemians campaign. We had just finished a, quite a tricky war. Like, it was a... Uh, it was quite tough, quite rough. Brandenburg seized the opportunity and declared war on us. Brought in Poland to help him and a couple of miners up here. Mostly Poland, though. Moldavia brought a godly general. A four six four a four six four two, and um, he kept wrecking us. We would win the war easily if not for the freaking four six four two general. We had uh, me, Teutons, and Saxony on my side, so it would be would be a decent, nice, easy war if not for that fucking mess of a general. But hey, that's. Uh, just a thing. Conquer Western Prussia, what a mission. Don't think you're getting that, Poland. I am going to be protecting Tijons from now on. We are annexing our little vassal Silesia, and I actually have to make a pause here. I will be back in just a moment. After the other save, I'll pause. And we're back. Let's continue. We're integrating Silesia. I don't. I think I mentioned this already, like multiple times, but eh, doesn't have to mention it again. We are integrating Silesia. By the way, if you didn't notice, there it is. Integrating Silesia. Uh, uh, annexing. It says annexing. Well, you know. Just uh, a bit of a difference in terming in terms there. We could definitely solidify our papal relations. Or try to. I don't know. Let's spend it on the papal influence. We can get become the papal controller if we. If we become the papal controller, it's going to be a little bit of a bonus to us. It's a nice bonus. Good benefits from becoming the papal controller, actually. You get prestige, advisor cost reduced, tech cost, additional leader. Chris expansion impact is the important one, really. Stab cost, it's good. Diplomats, good. Possible advisors, sometimes underestimated, but good. And, yeah. So, we're somehow first in diplomatic score. Let's check that out. Is that because of the war? Yeah, that's all because of the wars and strong allies. Okay. Apparently I have strong allies. Teutons and France, probably. Teutons and France. Teutonic Order und France, yeah. Ladislaus Postumus actually has an heir, which kind of sucks for us, but hey doesn't suck for Hungary. It might still be a, the case that if uh, this guy dies and Ulaslo comes up to the throne, he might not have an heir, so the event might still fire, but I think it has like a very, very limited time frame to fire. So, yeah. Might not fire at all. Might still get a PU normally over them. There's a, there's a slight possibility for that. They hate Poland, though. Bond does not hate them. Maybe we should actually switch out Hungary for some other rival. Maybe I shouldn't have counter-rivaled Hungary and I should rival someone else, like Austria, perhaps. Oh, then I'd, then I'd probably have trouble still allying, trying to ally Hungary, because then he would be like, oh, I'm friends with... Uh, Austria, so we can be friends. Derp. Actually, very good economy here. Very, very good economy. Gold in Egger. We actually have a, a gold mine here, yeah. Silesian peasants rising. I'm sure he got this, Silesia. Nope, nope, alright. I'll have to put them down. I don't have to... No, we... No, we don't have to do this. Ten prestige. And here, here I was hoping for some free troops from Bohemia. Or, sorry, not Bohemia, Silesia. Oh well. Oh well. We did invest our national focus into admin tech. Into admin points. Because we need them points. 
Cause we need them points. Cause we need them points. He's still making an army though, so yeah, it's pretty good for us. He's probably gonna just build it right up. There's another infantry. Yep. And is there gonna be a horsey? What if I give you a little bit of money? Will you, are you gonna make a horsey? Let's try that. So we give him enough to make a horse. If he, is he gonna make a horse? He can make a horse. I think. I think his horse limit should allow him to. Unless he just doesn't like horses. Maybe he just doesn't like horses. Maybe it's those are mercenaries and not his actual manpower. Does he have any manpower? Slesia. Slesia does have manpower. Two mercenaries, though. Two mercenaries. So one of those is a real one. One of those is a mercenary. Ah, disappointed. So he does keep some of the manpower, just in case. I mean... I'm gonna del I'm gonna have to delete the mercenaries, unfortunately. I'm thinking whether my first study group should be administrative or humanist. On one hand, humanist is gonna become useful much, 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 much quicker because of the Protestantism thing. Uh, on the other hand, administrative might also become useful really, really quick because of the mercenaries and coring costs. And well, possible advisors can be counted at discounted and admin tech cost. And the goods produced, you know, the goods produced is good. There's no doubt about that. The goods produced is a very, very good modifier. I am not sure. Oh, we're actually we're actually at zero diplomatic power? Oh yeah, our king is quite Quite bad in diplomatic skill. Admin tech, go. Can now build temples. Yes. France is now the papal controller. I'm happy with that, actually. Can be papal controller. I'll save the money for building a fort in Breslau. Because we will need one. We have a lot of unprotected territory right now. Need allows its. We'll have Glogau, Rat, Breslau, and Ratibol, pretty much unprotected, and also Moravia. Those are going to be our unprotected areas that we'll have to protect. Maybe I should have a relation with, like, Venice. Let's do that. Ottomans have taken Constantinople, but the Byzantines are still alive. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Venice, though, at war with Mamluks. For Mamlukian conquest of Rhodes. Ah. So Mamluks declared war on the knights. Aggressive are the Mamluks. Venice does have a quite, a, quite a powerful navy, so it's going to be a bit tricky for the Mamluks to contest that island. But it looks like they've already landed troops over there. Oh, Regency. A little too soon, my friend. And we have a 130 Regency. Oh, God. Five years of a very, very, very poor stat gain. And then we're going to have sort of a golden age, or at least a comeback, in the Boleslav. Boleslav. Yes, Boleslav is good. Boleslav, good king. Repay this loan. Yeah, we took... Uh, I believe we still have uh, some loans. Oh, we don't have any more loans. All right, so we only took like one. That is very nice. That was probably when we had like 25 or 27 mercenaries or some shit like that. That's when we took out most of our loans. Which was apparently just one. <laughs> uh. Okay, so now we have five increase and we're spending each month how much? Hmm. 
Apparently we're spending six then, because we need at least one to progress. All right, well, this is getting a little bit delayed, but, you know. You know, you know. Yeah, looks like we're spending six. Because we, we are gaining five. I mean, I could just hire this trader guy over here. He's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap, cheap. Can continue the, keeping the ball rolling, I suppose. I mean, at least some, somewhat. <laughs> it's needed to be done on that. Well, I know when he's gonna be done. It's gonna be done soon, okay? Forty-two divided by six, seven more months. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Is your general still alive? He is! He fucking is still alive. Constantine Rousset. I hate that guy so much. Oh, Bosnia. I mean, Hungary's now bigger. Okay. Kind of unlike, like, kind of an unlikely alliance here with Austria Hungary, but I mean. It's alright. Oh, it looks like. Did he just replace one of his mercenaries with a, with an actual dude? Yeah, he did. He did that. Good job, Silesia. I'm gonna have to delete one unit less. Alright. People declaring wars. Not really that interesting. Some northern wars. Ottomans declaring on Karaman for the course. Um, there's no beauty in your wars, AI. They're all boring. Little noble's power grows. Ooh, noble rebels. Moravia, no, that's bad. Actually, no, that's just for one year. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. I don't fight anybody right now, I don't have manpower for that shit. England is now the people can pronounce quick. Alright, let's invest again. Yay. We have invested. How many cardinals do we actually have? Like, one? Yeah, one. Prague. Of course. Become Papal Controller. <laughs> the death of Regency Council. That's great. Love these missions. Uh, 11 years. Okay. Regency ends on 27th of January 1462. So, yeah, like uh, four years and a half. Ah, nice. So we're not below the threshold, right? Saxon is 10.8. Okay, good. And as is as was predicted, you have a mercenary. Mercenary. Two infantry guys. So I need three more infantry guys. And five cavalry guys. That's gonna be 15.5 for now. Should work out. Oh, I had, I had exactly the amount of manpower needed for that. That's good. You kind of kind of out of manpower right now, but no, that's okay. It will come back to us in ten years. We're not gonna go to war in the future four years anyway. In the meanwhile, we can start fabricating claims on Poland. Poland is doing stuff, trying to scare us away. Cardinal minister, no thanks. I don't need that. There aren't bishops in my country. Oh, Pol noble rebels. Ooh, ballsy, eh? Ballsy noble rebels. 1-1 one, one versus a 0-1. They have no chance versus Constantine Roussat. 
or Ruset, whatever he is. And that was kind of stupid attacking in the river crossing in the freaking highlands, but you know, a valiant effort. A for effort. There he is, Constantine Ruset. Kill him. Ah, damn it. Why can't I have him? Juice with Brandenburg has ended. <laughs> Three out of four relationships now, so we should think about uh, getting another alliance somewhere. Let's call back this guy. Who hates Poland? Hungary, Teutons, and Bohemia. Teutons are unfortunately, I mean, Hungary is unfortunately out of the picture. So perhaps the Hansa might be a good pick. He's weak, though. Apparently he's lost a war or something. Saxon is already our friend. Pomerania. Or Sweden. He's neutral towards us, so he's not going to be our friend. Who hates you? Venice hates him. But... Nah, that's not going to work out. Maybe somebody who hates Bavaria? Like... Palatinate? Palatinate. It's not going to help us against Poland. What about Muscovy, actually? Yes, what about Muscovy? Let us send a diplomat to Muscovy. And attempt to establish diplomatic relationships with the noble, noble northern Knyaz. They're probably savages. Most likely. Who knows? We don't know. Have you been to Russia? I haven't been to Russia. I'm told they're all savages in Russia. Alright. That's of course not my... Probably not my worst. If you didn't realize that, that's quite silly of you. <laughs> Because I am Russian myself. Yes. Oh, why did I build over my force limit? Oops. Um. Yeah, that was intended. <laughs> Let's uh, delete two infantry units. There you go. Thirteen five zero. Should work fine. A bit more cavalry than infantry. Uh, I mean, I'd rather sacrifice some infantry because. Uh, cavalry does more damage in combat. There we go. That's like a, t a whole two ducats have been paying over force limit there. Whoopsie daisies. Sorry. A noob mistake. I am a noob myself, though. Have you not realized it? Oh, yeah, the castle in Breslau. You shall be built. There you go. Two castles should be enough to protect my territory for now. Downside of that is, I won't have much in the way of protecting my territory. Only two castles is very, very low amount of castles for a kingdom. Like, Tidonic Order has one, two, three, four castles. Four castles. Poland has one, two, three... Um, four, four castles as well. Well, it's bigger though. Hungary has one, two, three, four castles as well. I think Bosnia is also castles of five castles. It's quite a lot of castles everywhere. You, don't, don't you? Don't you think? Don't you think so? How long are you going to live for? Apparently enough to get two fucking votes. Oh my god. 
I'll have to vote for Palatinate now. I'm sorry, Saxony, but just for the sake of not keeping Austria the Emperor, we're gonna have to vote for Palatinate. Because otherwise, he's not gonna change his own vote for Austria. Austria's allied with Palatinate. So yeah, that's gonna fuck him up really, really hard. Or it could be... What is this? Nassau. I could vote for Nassau, and it could be three votes, but that's unreliable. Much more reliable is to... Um, vote for someone like this. Austria's at war or something. Why is he not passing the reform? I'm, I'm for it. I'm up for the first one. Might be actually up for the second one, too. Probably up for the third one, but no, not as much. Yeah, this is only the first two. 38 ducats, sure. Come on, why are you not passing the reform? God, come on, just pass it. Come on, dude, you got my vote. 24 versus 26 princes now. Okay. Oh. Austrian-French trade war. And uh, Hungary, Palatinate, England, Scotland honored their alliance with France, Ferrara honored with France, Gallery honored with France. Hmm. I think this is rather big. Trade war, really. How often do you see that? I mean, I would accept, but, but this, ugh. And England's in it too. God damn. It's quite a strong block Austria's got here. Hungary, England. Hungary, Austria, England. These three... I'm not ready to find these. So we will... Accept? Anyway, guys. See you next time. I'm gonna take a break here. Will we decline or accept the call to arms? Find out next time. See you next time. I said next time way too many times. But I'm gonna say it again. Next time. Hey!